Hello, I am Manisha De. Welcome to our channel Tricky Tech. Thanks for joining. We are excited to teach about networking in our videos. Let's get started. In this video, we will be discussing about LAN, MAN and WAN. We have already discussed about network in our previous video. A network is where some devices are connected to each other with a physical medium such as wire or radio signal to communicate between those devices. Now we are coming to how these networks are organized. Actually based on their geographical location the networks are divided into different type of categories. LAN and WAN are most popular among them. LAN or local area network. It's a group of computers or devices that are confined to a small geographic area such as building, office. It can share common communication medium such as cable or wireless connections. These are connected to a central connected device such as hub, switch or router etc. Let's see if someone wants to build a LAN, what devices do they need to make a LAN? Here we can see at first we need client devices or host devices. Client devices are those devices by which we can access the network such as computers, laptops, smartphones and so on. After that we need central connecting devices. Those are hubs, switches and routers. We have discussed this already in our previous video. These client machines or host machines are generally connected to central connecting devices. Different central connecting devices perform in a different way as I have said already. Now we are coming to network adapters also known as network interface cards that allows the computers to connect to a network. So all the client devices should have a network interface card or network adapters. Wired adapter features are called RJ45 port and wireless adapters features are called wireless access point or WAPS. The another thing we need an Ethernet cable. Ethernet is a technology which allows us to connect multiple devices to form a LAN. How data transfer in LAN? Before the data are transferred over network, it has to go through some interesting process. I think you all want to know that process, right? Okay, let's come to that process. At first, the large chunks of data are broken into segments. Then some addressing information or IP address are wrapped around the segment is called packet. Then it is added by some more information to make it a frame. Then each frame are broken into a data stream of bits that we can see here and travel over the physical media in binary. When the data is received by the receiver, it goes through the reverse process. What the receiving computer is going to do? It takes all the bits and reassembles it into a frame. Then strip out the logical and physical addressing information. So it's no longer be a packet anymore. It's going to come back to the segments and reassembles the data in its previous form that was sent by the sender. We will be discussing about MAN, Metropolitan Area Network. Usually a metropolitan means a city. So MAN can be considered as a network within a city or in a metropolitan area. A MAN is similar to a LAN but it spans an entire city using high capacity backbone technology and fiber optic links. MAN usually interconnects a number of LAN on entire city. If we create a network within a distance of 30 miles, we can consider that as a MAN. But if the distance is more than 30 miles, either if the network is in the same city, we can't say it a MAN. It will be categorized as WAN. Wide Area Network WAN is very similar to MAN. MAN can create a network in a city, but a WAN can create a network in different geographical locations. A WAN is made up of multiple LAN or MAN. Now, one of the criteria of making a WAN is the distance should be larger than 30 miles. So any network where the distance is more than 30 miles, we can consider that as a WAN. The actual definition of WAN is it is a geographically distributed private telecommunication network that interconnects multiple local area network or a metropolitan area network. 
द बिगेस्ट वैन इज ऑफकोर्स द इंटरनेट discuss about the differences between lan and wan a lan is a collection of computers and other network devices that fit within a scope of single physical network lan usually restricted to a particular geographical region just like a single office building or a single department within a corporate office or a home office or classroom as you can see in this picture whereas a wan is an internetwork that connects multiple sites and spans large geographical region a wan does not reside in only a single location as wlan as here you can see the networks of the different buildings are connected with the help of wan discussing about one another type of networking topology and that is can actually can and man are almost same CAN stands for Campus Area Network. A Campus Area Network is a computer network that links the buildings and consists of two or more local area network within the limited geographical area, just like MAN. It can be a college campus, enterprise campus, office buildings, meter repairs, or industrial complex. We have discussed about different type of network topologies. If you have liked this video, please hit on the like button and subscribe our channel Tricky Tech. And if you have any queries on this video, don't feel hesitate to comment on the comment section below. We will try to help you as much as possible. Thank you.